Okay, now that we've got our three columns that go up in our pattern, and we're going to have three that go up, there's going to be three across. So we've got our three up, and then to make our lines that go across, we're going to wrap yarn around our needle with our additional loop because this is a double crochet. And what you're going to do is with this column is you're going to have your needle come in from behind it and go in front. And if you flip it over to the back, you see that this column is sitting on the needle just like it was for the other side. You're going to put, pull your yarn through there. You've got three loops. Pull your yarn through the first two and pull it through the second two. And you see that this is pulled behind and you've got a nice row going across in the front. That's how we get it to look like that. So we're going to do it again. Come from behind, go in the front, pull your yarn through. We've got three loops and pull your yarn through the first two and pull it through the second two. And we're going to do it one more time because it's a pattern of three. Wrap your yarn around, coming from the back, go in the front, pull your yarn all the way through. Oops, do that one more time. You can flip it over to the back if it makes it easy, it does for me. So we've got our three, pull your yarn through the first two and pull your yarn through the second two. And you see this is how we get that row that goes across. Now we have to do multiple levels up to get our desired effect, but this is our first row. This is how we get it to go across. But you remember you want to keep it in multiples of three to keep a nice even pattern that looks like this.